All right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to GFW Turning Point 2017. It is time for our second to last pay per view of the year. We have uh, eight, nine, ten segments to get through, um, two of which are angles, so eight matches. Uh, all titles will be on the line, including Kenny Omega's. If you remember, I didn't know who he'd be facing. Apparently, he will be issuing an open challenge. So we'll see who answers that, and we'll get right into the show. We open with Cody Rhodes finally getting a win over Aaron Stevens. Um, Cody has been yet to beat Aaron Stevens. Finally, he did it at Turning Point 2017. Uh, so I guess that'll be the end of that feud. Uh, Abyss uh, finally, with you know all that motivation, Jake Hager attacking his mentor who had rehabilitated him into the monster he used to be. Abyss finally getting a win and beating Jake Hager. After that, we had a high impact beat Latin American exchange for the GFW World Tag Team Championships. Uh, LAX finally losing the championships. They, I believe, no, I was gonna say that they were the only champions from the beginning of the series, but um, uh, Sienna is also, is al where did I put a W? Uh, Sienna is also uh, still champion, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Sienna just defended the championship, so I guess she really is still champion. Uh, she tapped Diamante out to the Go Go Plata. Uh, uh, just an okay match. Um, I just realized that I forgot to book a match. I, re I realized that I forgot to book Awesome Kong vs. Gil Kim, so I guess that's not happening, but. What is happening is Dark Pentagon versus Sanjay. That Dark Pentagon winning the X Division Championship in record time. Just uh, on his fourth match, he won the X Division Championship. Um, clearly, he is a force to be reckoned with. Now, Kenny Omega issues an open challenge specific only to people who are from Florida. MVP comes out. MVP is from Florida. If you didn't know, he's from Miami. Uh, MVP comes out, he wants to answer the challenge. Omega has no choice but to accept. He did issue it to only people from Florida. So MVP is from Florida, and MVP answers. But MVP lost. Uh, Omega makes defense number two of the Grand Championship. Uh, MVP lost to the one-winged angel. And in the main event, Ethan Carter III defends the GFW Global Heavyweight Championship for the third time. Um... And after the match, we had a confrontation between Lashley and Ethan Carter III. Uh, apparently, Lashley wants a shot at the Global Championship. And that's the end of the show. We increased our popularity in 24 regions. We got a 61. That's not bad. Let's see. What was the best match? Abyss vs. <laughs> nope, that's not the one. Uh, no, that was the best segment. Um, okay, I'm going to say good job to... Uh, Jake, who was the best competitor in the best match. Uh, Kenny, for having the best segment of the night. And Peggy was trying to get in, in a box. You know, she fits, she sits. Oh, uh, actually, Lashley had the best segment of the night. So we're going to give Lashley a good performance as well. Not Ethan Carter III because his match with Homicide was crap. I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's Homicide's fault. Uh, so, yeah. Jake Hager seemed pleased. Kenny Omega seemed pleased. Lashley seemed pleased. Look at all those people seeming pleased with what I say. Am I recording? I am. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Right, so now we end the, the, the day. And then we end the episode. Any day now. There we go. GFW Turning Point 2017. The feedback has been that the show was awesome. We got 24,000 buys and 105,000 viewers. Peggy. O que foi? O que foi? Hey. I don't know if you can hear that, but you just start meowing at me. What do you want? Really? And I, oh, okay. Right. Just gonna end the episode. Um, 
Abyss says Ortiz is too clumsy. Kenny Omega is feeling the, eff the effects of a grueling schedule. I understand, dude. You're working for NJPW and GFW at the same time. I understand. I understand. Don't worry about it. Let's just... I know. I know. Hold on, Peggy. Let me just quickly check. Uh, he he is a main event. He's a bona fide main event. All right. Well, I know, Peggy. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. I'm going to see what Peggy wants. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in whatever I play next.